Hi. Hi guys. Hi. I've actually adjusted my my uh, iPhone so it's perfectly diagonal to the point where you can actually see me properly because I've noticed before I was a bit like that, squished in. Anyway, so hi everyone. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video um, just because I thought this morning that I've been doing intimate fasting for about, I would say, all in all about three or four weeks now. Um, at the beginning it was more of the case of just like getting into it. Um, getting my eating window in, see what worked for me. Um, before I was doing 10 till 6, um, and then I went on to 12.30 till 8.30 because I was working out and I wanted to make sure that I was getting my food after I worked out. So now I've noticed that my actual window is 12 to 8, um, and then I did a couple of days during the week of 24 hour fasting, which actually wasn't that bad. Um, and at the beginning of this week, because it was now on Thursday, at the beginning of this week I did two days of 20 hour fasting. Um, without even realising it, it's just I was busy and I also was ill, so that all kind of went into all one thing. Um, but now, I just wanted to have a quick video with you guys and just basically say what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. Because I'm a newbie, so those that are just starting out, watch the video and uh, hopefully you'll be sold by the end of it to try it out yourself. I mean, it's a trial and error. I mean, it works for some and it doesn't work for others. Um, I mean... When I first did it, it felt really natural to me, um, and I didn't really, I actually thought to myself, maybe I was doing this before, years ago, but I didn't realise. It's just basically what it is, it just keeps you disciplined, and it has like an eight hour window, so you're not just not eating all the time, and you're not starving, you just, you just, you just keep yourself disciplined. For those that aren't but disciplined, then this diet, or this lifestyle, god, I can't, I used the D word, how dare I, uh, <laughs> this lifestyle is not for you. So. On a normal day, um, I would get up. If it's work, then obviously I've got I'm doing a lot, so I'm burning more energy, so I'm hungry. So what I usually do is I'll have green tea quite a lot. Um, always take my huge mug with me, um, my Tigger mug or my <laughs> huge massive piglet mug, which is like this big. I swear it's like you near know, half a litre of water. It's, it's ridiculous, but um, yeah, I have that. Um, I drink water during the day as well. Um, I haven't been drinking any juices or anything like that. Um, and then 12 o'clock will come and I break my fast. Now, people ask, and me in particular would ask, what do I have? What do you have when you when you break your fast? I mean, considering you haven't had anything and your body's been fasting for so long, what do you break it with? Because I'm very inquisitive and due to me being into fitness, I wanted to make sure that I was giving my body the, the, the food it needed at the right time. And I didn't want it to just be like lacking nutrients and I wanted my micronutrients which is basically in, in the fitness world for the terms of you making sure you have enough of everything basically for when you work out. So I would break my fast with porridge oats, cinnamon, blueberries on occasion but I always have 30 grams which is a big tablespoon of peanut butter. I never used to have that, I used to have flaxseed and whatnot but since the fasting I, I then found out that it's best to break your fast with high protein. Now, it's not so easy to be taking, like, we can, I mean, depending on the person, and obviously, like, if you just want to be around the stove all the time, but if you want to be taking a high-protein protein meal with you before you go to work, I mean, but having, a, having a shake didn't cut it for me, because I was making sure I was having three meals, so I didn't want to start my day with just a shake, um, otherwise I'd pick on something else. So I, my, I just thought to myself, protein, what I like, what I crave, what do I want? Mmm, peanut butter. So I did. Uh, and that was, I've never turned back now. So yeah, I have the whole earth. Um, you can you can get it in Asda, Sainsbury's. I haven't seen it in Tesco's, but you maybe because uh, the branches near me are quite small. So, But they are quite well, well known. I mean, it's not like it's a brand that's just in one store only. Um, usually, the ones I fave more than anything is the um, Horn Meridian. Um, it's, I don't know if I'm saying it wrong, probably am, but I'm sure it's called Meridian. Um, you can get it from Holland and Barrett and it's like a huge tub like this and it's like five pounds. Or you can get the small version, the glass with the, with the tiny top at the top. So that's just pure natural peanut butter. It's just, there's nothing in it, it's just peanuts grounded down with the natural oils and everything and it's fabulous. And I also get the almond butter as well from there. Um, and there's a cute little boutique place that's just down the road from where I live and I didn't realise. Me and my mum were walking down there, I don't know, just to get some fresh air or something. And we may have passed a shop and I was happy just to see like this little tiny thing. Like it was just in the middle of like, it just looked a bit off key compared to the rest of the, the, rest of the street. Went in there and like, oh my god, it's got everything I want. So that's helpful. So 
if I don't have my peanut butter that I get from Holland and Barrett or that little tiny shop, then I get the whole earth from when I go to a supermarket. So yeah, I have that with my porridge. Um, I usually have a banana with it because I love bananas and I know that usually I have it after a workout, but depending on how I'm feeling at the time. Sometimes I don't want it and sometimes I do. So I have it with my breakfast. Um, and then the day goes on and then I have another meal at five o'clock. It's usually like with chicken, with fish, with vegetables. I don't like to necessarily have like carbohydrates before I go to sleep, but that's a myth for some people that like, oh, it doesn't make a difference if you have carbs before you go to sleep. But for me personally, due to my stomach and how I have my digestive system, I know it works for me. So anything I say on these videos, please don't quote me on the fact that I'm saying you have to do it. You do it if you want to do it. It's only advice. Now I'm hearing myself going to swear in a minute and saying <laughs> because there is also this uh, these twins called the Hodgson, Hodgson, Hodgson twins or the Hodge twins and it's fasting twins basically so if you go onto YouTube and you put fasting twins you'll have the funniest five minutes of your life they are hilarious so at the end of their video you'll see why I meant do as in the quote saying it's only advice and then the rest follows what they say so yeah check them out they're pretty awesome um, but yeah, so after I've had my meal um, at five o'clock, it's usually the biggest, well not the biggest, but like, it's got a lot of variety going on there. So I'll have vegetables, i have chicken or fish, um, or sometimes both, depending on what I bring with me. Um, yeah, so I sometimes add sweet potato with it, especially if I'm going to be doing like an hour workout after I finish work at eight o'clock at night. So I need to make sure that my body's got energy in there. Um, and then the last meal of the day is usually a protein shake. Um, the protein that I favour at the moment is PhD whey diet protein shake. Um, I've also, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video tomorrow anyway because I'm going shopping. Um, it's payday for me. Whoop. Retail therapy. Get in. So I'm going to be going shopping and I'll buy some stuff and I'll maybe do like a little little shopping video for you and show you all the supplements that I have and all the shakes that I drink and the food that I eat so just give you a rough idea of those that are starting out with their journey what to shop for and what to look for because there are so many little tiny things you can add to stuff to keep you really full up and then you will be surprised of how less calories there are and how tasty things are and etc um, so yes yeah, so that look forward to doing that and please look out for it because um, I'm excited to do it and uh, I've not done a recipe video before so that'll be fun um, hopefully within the next like couple of months or beginning of next year I'll get myself a laptop and a camera and everything can you just want to be seeing like videos of my head and my face like seriously I, I want to be doing more um, workout videos and and just to show you technique wise and and just to let you Go with your own resources and just get stuck in at home. Um, it really doesn't mean you've got to pay out loads of money for a gym. I mean, some people like the gym environment, some don't. And for those that don't, seriously, you haven't got to worry about the fact you're missing out. You can do everything at home and outside. I mean, you'd be so surprised. And please don't demo be demotivated, especially with um, with that. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's times when I, when I first started out, you don't want to be going to a gym wearing your gym gear thinking everyone's looking at you without you thinking oh you know you don't want to sound vain you don't want to sound big headed you don't want to sound like oh everyone's looking at you but it's obvious you know you're going to go to the gym you feel disgusting you're there to try and help yourself and and get fitter and stuff and then you're running on a treadmill and like your butt cheeks are shaking everywhere and <laughs> god what a video huh but it's true I mean I speak the truth seriously I have not lied to you one video out of whole of this so please like you know <laughs> I'm laughing at myself now because I think I'm hilarious um, but yeah so please look out for my videos this video is gonna be well it's like nine minutes and now 17 seconds so it wasn't as short as I thought it would be but yeah I will do another one soon and until next time guys bye bye